Chances are that if you're currently using the Oppo Find 7 or Find 7a, you're stuck on a version of ColorOS that runs on Android 4.3 Jelly Bean. Yeah, I know, that's terrible. But the company has decided to give users a very elegant alternative to get Android 5.1 Lollipop. I'm Jaime Rivera with Pocket Now, here with a quick look at Project Spectrum from Oppo. ColorOS is, well, ColorOS. Some people hate it, some people like it. Oppo did a good job at listening to customers with the latest version that's running on the Oppo R7 Plus, and I'll even admit that that's one of my favorite Android skins to date. The only problem is if you have a legacy Oppo phone, you still don't have it. Instead, Oppo decided to play a smarter move with its Project Spectrum. In a nutshell, what you're really getting here is stock Android experience, but with the added features that Oppo pioneered in most cases. At the moment, it only works on the Oppo Find 7 and Find 7a, and to get it to work, you really only need to follow the link in the description with the instructions and download the ROM to your device. The ROM is in beta, true, but given the fact that Oppo is actually promoting it, I wouldn't worry too much. Once you've downloaded the ROM, use Oppo's File Explorer to place the ROM on the SD card, and then simply turn off the phone. After that, you press the power and volume down button until the Oppo brand shows up, and then you let them go. And wait for the company's recovery engine to load. Some of these are touch-based, like in the case of mine, but in other cases they aren't, so you'll have to use the volume keys. Select your language, erase the phone's cache, and then simply select the ROM you have to install. The whole process of installation takes around 8 to 9 minutes, and then you're given the prompt to reboot the phone, and then after that it'll take another 2 to 3 minutes for the phone to boot, so make sure you bring some coffee. Once that's done, you're greeted with a familiar face, Android 5.1.1 Lollipop. Yes, you can restore your phone from another Android device using NFC and tap and go because this is one of the few Oppo phones left with NFC. And after that's done, you get a near stock Android experience with all the sense of the word, with some exceptions though that I'll mention later. First, let me give you a few pointers to make sure that your experience is pleasant and you avoid some of the mistakes that we made. Number one, make sure you activate unified storage and settings so that you won't have to install everything again because the phone actually partitions them. So yeah, if you didn't do it like we did, you'll have to follow this process again, but only to install your apps as the ROM is here to stay. Don't worry about that part. Then, if you want things like double tap to wake and the circle gesture to launch the camera, you'll actually have to go to the accessibility settings to enable these. Oppo was nice enough to include the R7 Plus camera app, which is one of my favorites. I even praised it for the fact that you don't only get a bevy of options, but also some very nifty manual controls. The multitasking menu is buried within the double tap on the home button as well, so no, you won't be able to turn off the display with this, like you can on other Oppo phones. Last but not least, even though the launcher looks a lot like the Google Now launcher, it actually isn't. This is one of the differences. So make sure you install the Google Now launcher from the Google Play Store to get the full stock Android experience. Overall, I'm gonna admit it, this brought some new life to the Oppo Find 7. The experience is smooth, and even though I still have to play along with it, I haven't found any bugs over the last day or two that I've been using it. My advice to you is to follow the instructions and give it a try. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. For more videos like these, make sure you follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next video.